For question two, in the figure, a particle moves along a circle in a region of uniform magnetic field of magnitude b is equal to 3.3 mt. The particle is either a proton or an electron. You must decide which. It experiences a magnetic force of magnitude 3.2 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. We're asked what is the particle speed for a. Before we start the problem, we should write down what we're given. And what we're given is that b is equal to 3.3 mt. To work in this problem, this will have to be converted to t later. We have a magnetic force, so we can write that as force, and it's going to be on b, and that is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. For part a, we're asked, what is the speed? To find the speed, we can use this formula, and that is f of b is equal to charge times velocity times the magnetic field b multiplied by sine of the angle. For here, um, our angle is just 90 degrees since our b is going out of the page. When Whenever there's a circle, it's as if it's going out of the page. So if we were to redraw our circle like this and we have our dot and arrow, our b is going to be pointing straight outwards like this. So that means our degrees is equal to 90. So this in turn is just going to be the value 1. And we want to solve for v because it's asking for us the particle speed. So we can rewrite this and set f of b over the charge q times b. And that's going to be equal to v. If our sign wasn't 1, we would also carry it over to the left side. However, since it's just 1, we can just leave a 1 on our right side. From here we can start plugging in our values. So our f of b is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. Our charge is, um, we'll pick an electron. So we can highlight this as our choice. And the q is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. That's the charge of an electron. And this is being multiplied by our b, which is 3.2 mt. We have to convert this, so this is just going to be 3.2 times 10 cubed, or negative cubed, t. Also, this is not 3.2, it should be 3.3. From here we can keep going, and draw an arrow and say that our v is equal to whatever we get um, from this result in our calculator. After we plug this into our calculator, we are going to get the speed is equal to 6.1 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. For part b, we're asked to find the radius of a circle, and to find the radius, we are going to use this formula, and that is mass times v squared over r is equal to qvb. We want to find the radius, so we're solving for this right here. We're going to work our formula around how we need to solve for this. So we can rewrite this putting r on the right side and dividing our left side by everything that was on our right side. And this is what we are going to get. We can start plugging values in. So our mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. Our v we found in part a and that is just 6.1 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And our Q is the charge of an electron. So we're going to have 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And then our B, which we have is 3.3 mt. And we're going to convert that just like last time. And that's 3.3 times 10 negative cubed t. And that's all going to equal R. After we plug this into our calculator, we're going to see that our radius is approximately 0 0.012 and this is just going to be in meters. That is our answer for part B. For C, we're asked to find the period of motion and the period is just T and T is also 1 over F. We're not given our frequency so we can also rewrite this as 2 pi r 
over v. From here, we can just start plugging in our values. We have our t, we're saying that equal to 2 pi, and our r, we found in part b, to be 0 0.012 meters, and our v, we found in part a, which is 6.1 times 10 to the sixth meters per second. And for our answer, we're going to get t is equal to approximately 1.2 times 10 to the negative 8. This answer is slightly off because it is heavily rounded, but that is how you do the work for this problem.